We're going to go to movies. Top five movies all the time. You can only watch five movies for the rest of your life. What would they be? No particular life? order. Life. Okay. It's starring, just in case anybody's confused. With Martin that. Lawrence and Eddie Murphy. There we go. Okay. Now, why do you? Why is that a top five movie for you? Got to have a comedy. Got to have a good comedy. It's a classic. Okay. It's a great movie with them, too. And you can't. You can't not laugh when you watch that movie. Because every time I watch it, I'm always laughing. Got you. So we got life. Uh, four more movies. The Bad Boys Collection from one through three. Okay. <laughs> We're not going to put Bad Boys yeah. for Life in there? They might, that I said one through three. That's all three. Oh, okay. You're right. You're right. Okay. You're right. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's... You ain't really even got to say nothing. If you have not watched Bad Boys, put that in there. Check it out. Classics. Classics. Straight up. Um, uh, so we got three more. Three more movies. Black Panther. If you have not watched Black Panther, as soon as this... a lot of people, I know a lot of people are going to criticize the movie, but the movie was phenomenal. Right. As soon as you're done... Great movie to me. Listening to this interview, go watch Black Panther. That's... I'm going to just leave it there. As soon as you're done listening to this, go watch Black Panther. However you got to do it, however you got to download it, stream it, whatever you need to do, get Disney Plus, whatever you need to do, watch it. We got two more. Two more movies? Let's see. What's another movie that I really, really love? Uh, The Jurassic Park series. There we go. There we go. That's one of my favorites, too. I'll, I'll I'll watch that religiously. Um, that's another one. If you have not watched a Jurassic Park movie, right after you're done with Black Panther, get straight into Jurassic Park. Just just binge watch it. Just trust me. It's yeah, just just get straight into it. Last one. Last, Last movie. movie. Greatest movie of all time is a cartoon. I'm sorry to say it, Lion King. There we go. Ain't nothing wrong with that. The original Lion King. <laughs> the there we go. King. If you have not watched those um, Lion King too, if you have not watched the original Lion King movie, it's a cartoon, but it's, I don't care. Watch it. It is so about the storyline. Everything about it is powerful. Uh, I don't care how old you are. It is a cartoon, but you will love that movie. Like, I've not met somebody that had anything bad to say about The Lion King. Watch Lion King. You will enjoy it. Now, uh, we're going to bring things back to your childhood a little bit, but also, um, you know, it still has a lot to do with what we, you know, what we're talking about today. Mm -hmm. Um, What are your top five cars of all time. If you had a car collection, you could say you could only have these cars for the rest of your life. What cars would it be and you would be satisfied with them? For the rest, it could be a car that came out yesterday, or it could be a car that's, um, you know what I mean, old as, like the first car ever built. Give me one second, though. Let me grab this plug for this computer. One second. Okay. All right. Oh, man. As fast as I can. Are right, we back? All right. Are you so, we're on the cars. We're on the top five cars all the time. For you. Go ahead and start for it me? off. For you. All right. Cars for me. BMW i8, Voice Steiner. What year are we talking? That'd be one. The Voice Steiner came out in, I think, 2014. Okay. It's a rare I BMW i8. Uh, I, I would have the 2020, well, not 2020, 
2018 BMW M5 competition. BMW what? M5 M5 competition. M5 competition. So go go ahead and um M5 competition. What kind is this a coupe? Is this a sedan? It's um, a sedan. Why does this car mean so much to you? Like as far as and why you why do you like it so much? I love BMWs because I had one. I had two before. Actually, three okay. before. Okay. Um, this car basically is a twin turbo V8 pushing a little bit over 600 horsepower, 607 to 605 horsepower. All Very fast. You, Very fast. you can get it in all-wheel drive if you want it. Okay. Matter of fact, I think it is all-wheel drive. Okay. 4.4 liter twin turbo V8. Mm. Okay. So definitely anybody, you know, Thinking about different types of dream cars, check out the 2018 BMW M5 competition. Definitely from how he's putting it, it seems like it's just this amazing supercar. So we got the BMW i8 and we got the 2018 M5 competition. We got three more spots. All right. So my other spot would be a 2020 Aston Martin DB11. Hmm. Well, actually, no. DBS Super Legera. From Aston Martin. Can you pronounce if you, it one if you more want, time? The 2020, 2020, DBS, Aston Martin DBS, Super Legera. Super Legera. So tell me a little bit about the car. The Super Legera, um, this car, you ever seen James Bond? The newer James Bond? I have not. It was the car he pretty much stole in the latest movie. But it's the newer Aston Martin that was built, and it's gorgeous inside and out. Okay. Um, the car is basically a newer style. I don't know. I haven't pretty much studied up the specs on it yet. But the car, I think, is a V12 or V10, mm. give or take, over a little bit over 600 horsepower. But for sure, it's a okay. it's a beast. Okay, we got three more spots. Three more, two more spots. You're right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Two more spots. Uh, I would do a fully built custom SVT Raptor. What year are we talking? Uh, I would do the new one, the 2020. 2020 SVT Raptor. So. Why are we rolling with the Raptor? Eh, um, I need a play truck. There you go. I'm just going to put it like that. I need a play truck. I need something I could tow something with. And why not? Why not get a Raptor? Um, yeah. The last vehicle. Let's see. I have sports car, sports car. No, I have two two hyper two sports cars, sports sedan, sports truck. Why not go for a regular car? Going for a car would, SUV. I'm going for a car. I'm going okay. for the. I'm gonna go for the 2019 GSF Lexus. Ah, there we go. So why are we going with the Lexo? Car is bad. I test drove one the other day. Literally. It was blue. It had the orange colored interior inside of it. Mm. Um, 600 horsepower rear wheel drive. The guy um, said, open it. The guy said, open it up. I opened it up and didn't want to stop. <laughs> He said, you get a ticket, you're paying for it. I said, no, you just tell me to open it up. Right. But the car is phenomenal. It's gorgeous inside and out. Man, for sure. You know, I appreciate you, you know, I, letting the community know about this kind of stuff. It's powerful. Yeah. So um, as we get into the, you know, the final piece of the in interview, uh, what current projects are you working on right now? Are you still in school? Are you, do you plan on starting any business or anything like, you don't have to go through any names or anything like that. 
you know, if nothing started, but is it, is there any ideas that you have that you, you know, would like to share and kind of industry you would like to get in or anything like that? Graduated, grab my, got my master's. Congratulations. So got that done. Um, the business I want to get into, I would like to get into retail as well as on electronics. Um, Cause that's where we're going to now this day and age, we're going into electronics real bad. Okay. And retail we're going into because of the pandemic. Everybody's making masks. Why not create a mask, wear a mask, help somebody out. Okay. But I, but I want to improve on the mask. Okay. Since a lot of people don't want to wear them. I want to improve them to where you can have more functionality where you can breathe through them. Absolutely. Okay. And then, oh. on, and then on the electric side, I want to create something that can benefit more people. Okay. For sure. That's um that's something I'm keeping hush hush for now. Okay. Well, hey, when it uh when you do launch, um, hey, whatever you you know whatever you have, whatever you want to talk about, definitely want to bring you on for a uh, for a uh, you know either pay for value or a champions value mindset interview, so you can let gotcha. people know you know what's going on and uh, All right. strengthen their minds and their mindsets, and I'm um, also to pay for value. You know, maybe we could hook we could hook somebody up with uh you know one of your new products or something like that. Yeah, we will. Got you. Um, one of the last things I want to ask you is, what is something you have done or want to do to give back to uh to your community? That's the same thing they asked me in school, and somebody asked me this before. Okay. I want to build a center. Not just for me, but I want to build it for the community. Okay. I don't want to build a boys and girls club to where you just play ball, swim, and all that stuff. I want to build something where you can grow your mind. Okay. Like I want to have it in the inner city, because you know most kids in the inner city don't have that. To where they have right. something to where they can get off school, like, hey, I can go to this center and I can build something where I can benefit the world. There we go. Rather than just going to a place to where they just play ball, shoot, play tennis, work, work out. I want right. to go to a place where I can build my mind, where I can lift my mind. There you go. That's something I want to leave. For sure. The mind is more powerful than a muscle. There we go. It's your strongest muscle. Absolutely. Well, um, the last question I have for you is what unique characteristic about yourself do you feel makes you a champion makes you strong makes you able to get through things and accomplish your goals my drive to never give up you know that from first hand on i never give up on anything i do if i set my mind to it i'm not going to stop okay and that's something a lot of people give up on very quickly they they they're quick to give up quick to give in quick to stop my thing to the people out there, never give up on your dreams. Your dream might be just that close to you getting it, and you're going to give up right at the tip of it. Keep moving forward because you never know. You might be right at the crack. Like you see the pictures, like they show people with diamonds. You see the picture with the dude who got the small diamond. But you see that dude who kept digging, and he gave up. And you seen that big diamond sitting right there. If he only would have clicked one more time, he would have got that big diamond. Sure. Keep I'll going. Keep going. Never fail. Never quit. Listen, uh, I, I appreciate you doing this Foundations of Success uh, interview. No um, I definitely see where the foundation came from. Sound like you really got a solid family, uh, military background in yourself, military background in your family. And um, overall, amazing content. I just want to thank you again for getting in and uh, doing the interview. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, as we build the company in the future, um, definitely look forward to having you on for uh, more interviews. Uh, we, right, do, we do our events. Uh, definitely want to have you come and, you know what I mean, uh, you know, be a part of it. In any way we can get you to be a part of it. And overall, just uh, keep doing the great things that you're doing because you've already given back to your country. You're kind of doing great things for your community. And, um, hey, you want to just keep building on this. So we just, you know, I personally – being the one that started Champions Playbook, I want to personally thank you. You're welcome.
All right. Keep doing what Truly. you're doing. Um, stay, stay blessed out here. Stay safe out here. And, um, you know, keep your mindset growing and strong, you know. All right, bro. Wear your so, mask. I, I, I got it. I put the leaves, so I got to grab it off the bed. Hey, we appreciate you. Stay safe out there. Continue to do great things. Continue to All right, little brother. Okay, bro. All right, bro. All right.